Who else did it have? Oh, um, uh, from Guy, uh, Aaron Hall. They, oh, now, now we talking Aaron Hall. Yeah, he, he used to, Mamma used to work Aaron with Aaron Hall, now you take me somewhere. With, you. Yeah, I'm that Aaron Hall, it goes yeah. back. He had a, listen, he had a Vlad TV interview. Mm -hmm. And he said, he was at the P. Diddy party and he allegedly he came through. He said that he come through after everybody and he, when he messed with it, like they were running these things on different women and yeah this is this what he said on it and he was the he did, everybody else go but they know when he come through like he coming through like with the with the he that guy like, like <laughs> this was on play i'm telling you bro these parties is really people and what i don't get is that those parties you know this is what i don't get why everyone's talking now about these parties um it was supposed to be like vegas What's done at the party stays at the party, and I don't get why. But I think it's because, no offense, I think what happened with Cassie when she, I think because she got, everybody's trying to get money. Everyone's on that money tip now. Everything, I'm going to tell what happened here. I'm going to tell, but you don't tell what you did. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we going to talk. See, what happens is that once you get that money, because, you know, I was with Hammer. Hammer had all that. You start, you know, um, he might get mad at me saying this, but I don't care. Um... I remember one time um, Hammer made a joke in front of all these guys. Who uh, was there? Vander Holyfield was there. Um, uh, Dion was there. Craig Brooks. And all of them were there. And he made this joke and it was very corny. And everybody, ah! Ah! they was laughing. Was, I, somebody, you know how they just run around and run, ah, that's funny, that's funny. And I didn't find it funny. And I just was like, okay. And later on, I remember him coming to me and said, you know what I like about you, Lamar? He goes, you real. And I said, why you said that, Ham? He said, I said that joke intentionally to see who would laugh and who wouldn't. And I was like, oh, that's, neat. that's deep. That's real deep. Because he said, watch what people, what he said, listen what people, listen what people say to you, he said, and then watch what they do. When you think about MC Hammer, though, he, he they say he was more, he was more street than, than, than just that dancing wasn't all it was to him. Yeah, well, as as y'all know, on the, the they took from y'all. Yeah, I'm the, I'm the one that mentioned that. Yeah, he was. He wasn't a, he wasn't that you know goofy guy that you know. Ooh, I'm dancing in my pants. That wasn't him. You know, he, he was. He, I mean, he was high street boy. He was. You know, he he came from the streets. He did. Did he did he commit his own demise by hiring and bringing all those people with him? Probably so. He, you, you know, know what? You know what? Even though I'm mad, I get mad because of my dealings, what happened with me. But I do have to admit, we had a lot of hanger on us. We had people, and it, it seemed like at some point, sometimes that like he did more for them to prove something, and I don't know what it was. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's like the people that were supposed to make the money didn't, and the people that weren't making the money, he kind of showered them a little more. Do you know Too Sharp was only, even back then, on that Life Too Sharp thing, now it's kind of funky. He, I, I remember him saying, he was talking about him. I, it was subliminally said. He said, 50 million dancers in a big old band. That ain't me. I'm from old school. You know what I mean? Play the instrumental, grab the mic, and I'm cool. Like, he knew that that was overkill. You didn't feel that when you was in the midst of it? Because well, it was a big you, movement. But you have to realize that yeah. I came, I came, even though I was in the midst of it, I really came during the first bankruptcy. Oh, okay. So he was restructuring everything. He kind of realized that he kind of, you know what I'm saying? Because what happens is that when you have those, you forget you got insurance. You forget that you got lawsuits because you're people that work for you. They don't sue the people that work for you. They sue you because you're the big boss. You don't want all the money. Nobody want a peon. They're like, I don't want to get 20000 Oh, he got $20 million. Let me get him so I can get more money. You know, and you got that. And then you, you start doing things and going and gambling. And then, you know, and then what's so crazy? Then you get to Vegas. And then they copy rooms, give you twenty thousand dollars worth of chips. Then you put down two hundred thousand of your own money. Then they say, you know, you lost four five hundred thousand mm dollars. -hmm. What did you do? What did you see in Hammer that made you feel like he was not as uh, just Mister Dancy Dancy? What made you feel like he was street? What was it? it had to be something just that, some the, that some made the, you think that when I had my when me and him had one on one talks in the office and when I talked to him when we had, you know what I'm saying even when we started arguing about money, or arguing about stuff I should do. You know what I'm saying? He, he That's when he would put on that. You know, he, he put on the business. He put on the, the tough, like, hey, it's this way. I mean, 
I, I remember one time we had a, a disagreement in the group, and he was like, well, why don't you just box it out? And I said, what do you mean box it out? And he said, I'm going to put a ring, because we used to fight. He said, I'm going to put a ring in your garage, and we'll just get some boxing gloves, and y'all just fight. And whoever, you know, whoever knocks the other person out, that's the winner. And let's go on. That, and I think that was not a bad thing because I mean, during that what, time. But, but he was saying that's what you need to do so that y'all, you know, instead, instead of you trying to kill each other, go ahead and box it out. That was the old school. That's what they done. I mean, that, but that's that's him. That was him. And that's what he would want to try to set up. Somebody. Actually, that's what he would do. <laughs> <laughs> you, he would make this people, actually happen. Yeah, we actually we actually had people in the camp and he would have boxing man. He would be like, yeah. Y'all just duke it out instead of y'all. You know, it's better than that than you coming back with a pistol and trying to mm-hmm. shoot somebody. Wow. You know what I'm saying? That, who all was in that group that was uh, popular during that time? That Ho I know Fred 357 Ho, was. Who Fred Ho, 357. Um, go for it. What's his name? Go for uh, I can't think of his name. Uh, you had Ace Juice, 357. Um, you had, of course, Angie B. Wow. Um, you had uh, um, Us. Um, a lot of people don't know Hammer and his brother Lewis. You know they were the managers for a lot, of, like Heavy D, Ralph Tresvant. Um, who else did they have? Oh, um, uh, from Guy uh, Aaron Hall. They, oh, now now we talking Aaron Hall. Yeah, he, he used to Hammer used to work. Aaron with him. Hall. Now you take me somewhere. I you. Yeah, I'm t- that Aaron Hall. It goes day back. Day. He had a listen. He had a Vlad TV interview, mm-hmm. and he said. He was at the P. Diddy party, and he allegedly he came through. He said that he come through after everybody and he, when he messed with it. Like, they were running these things on different women. And, yeah, this this what he said on it. And he was the – he everybody else go, but they know when he come through, like, he coming through, like, with the – with the he that guy. Like, like <laughs> this was on play. I'm telling you. Bro, these parties is really – And what I don't get is that those parties – you know, this is what I don't get why everyone's talking now about these parties. Um, it was supposed to be like Vegas. What's done at the party stays at the party. And I don't get why. But I think it's because, no offense, I think what happened with Cassie, when she, I think because she got, everybody's trying to get money. Everyone's on their money tip now. Everything, I'm going to tell what happened here. I'm going to tell, but you don't tell what you did. You tell what other people did, but you don't tell what you did. And my thing is, they grown people. You know, we, 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 you know, if you did something, you did something. People were young at the time, and, and you have to realize that. And and when, like Cosby, when you get that kind of money, you do feel like you white people and you're untouchable. You feel like you can't be touched because, you know, they've taught you how to get runners and how to get people out your business and how to blackball people, all that kind of stuff. So you think you can do that. But getting back to the religious stuff, What's done in the dark always comes come to the light. To the light. And God, and the thing is, is that, this is what I tell people. When people do things to me, I say, and and one time I got accused of someone said, oh, you threatened me. I didn't threaten him, but this is what I did tell him. I'm a child of the king. I don't do everything right. You know what I'm saying? My mom and them get mad because I say, um, I'm a heathen saved by grace. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They get mad when I say that sometimes. But I tell them, I know who I am. I don't do everything right. I do a lot of wrong things. I've done a lot of wrong things in the past. I'm still doing wrong things. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Because I'm, I'm, I'm human. I'm fallible. You know what I'm saying? But I know who I am. I know whose I am. And I can tell them, I'm a child of the king. Wow. So when you're a child of the king, you have to realize that there's, you know, what you call it, retribution. When you do things to children of the king, the king don't take that lightly. And he will... You know what I'm saying? He'll fight your battle. And wow. you know how we want to get back at somebody? He do it much better. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.